Hey everyone, Steve Fair from Scrapping for Less. Um, right now I'm going to show you how to do your enamel process on chipboard. Um, so you know that we can do that on 65 weight cardstock, doubled up, um, 110 weight cardstock, single, and we can also do it on our chipboard. So it's a great way to decorate your chipboard pieces. A lot of people are asking how do you decorate chipboard. So we're going to make this awesome shuttle, shovel here um, just using our distressing inks. Just gonna color that chipboard with our distressing inks. As I always tell you at the show, your distressing inks are much juicier than mine. Mine get a whole lot of use out of them. I hope yours is gonna get as much use as I am. You know I like to add that texture in my things. I like to do that with my stamps. So I'm taking any of my stamps that I already have at home, use any of my dye ink pads, stamp into that with my dye ink pad. And on the stamp, it really doesn't matter. You're just getting a lot of um, texture in there. So anything that you have at home that has a whole heck of a lot of texture, I'm just gonna let that completely air dry. Once that's nice and dry, we're gonna take our Versamark, get our Versamark all coated on there. That's our clear embossing ink. And we're gonna drop that into that magic awesome powder. As I've told you before, it is not an embossing powder. It is actually a different chemical, so it's gonna take a bit longer to melt than traditional embossing powder but it's also not gonna burn like your traditional embossing powder. This is my embossing heat tool, it's not a hair dryer. Mine's that super quiet one that we sell here on the website from Ranger. If you have one of those long, loud, noisy, heavy ones, they'll work just fine also. But we're letting that get nice and melted. I hope you guys have had a chance to take a look at the website, see all the stuff up on there. Um, I know they're constantly adding new things every week, so definitely keep a lookout. Um, I'm really glad that we finally got that new side up. It looks really good. Once we get that all nice and melted, you're going to want to let that cool. You're going to want to let that cool. We're just speeding up the process. You're going to want to let that cool a bit longer than I will. But once you get that nice and cool, we are going to take our Versa mark again, do another coating of Versa on there. So once you get that all nice and Versa marked up, if you want to, here's the fun part. You can go ahead and add a bit of glitter to this. I actually think I'm gonna use this blue here. Um, the easiest way to do your glitter, hold that item up at an angle and just do a light dusting of glitter right on there. I am using my little coffee filter here. I know sometimes I use the old trash can that I have at the show. There I don't have to clean up, here I do. So I'm a little more cautious here. And we're dropping that right back into that um, powder here. I recommend using paper plates, super easy. Can bend it, throw it right back in there and um, reuse it. You know, they sell those little plastic ones. Um, we were trying to sell them for a while there too, but I didn't like them and I'm not gonna sell you something that I don't like. We're gonna heat that up again. And remember, while this is nice and hot, you can go ahead and put any rhinestones, embellishments, anything you want to in there. It's gonna hold better than any glue that you're gonna use. Once we get that all nice and melted, just love this gun, it's so super quiet. Unlike those other ones that are out there. Just gonna let that cool. Once you get that nice and cool, you've got an awesome little embellishment. So many more things here that we have. Um, in my other video, make sure you check out, I'll show you how to put that snow marker on there. Give that little snow to that shovel. Um, and then definitely look at how we did it on the 110 weight cardstock. It's about the same as the chipboard. Um, and definitely look at that 65 weight doubled up. So that'll be a separate video. So until next time, I'll see you guys.